Hey everyone, welcome to 996 The Howl for the Uninitiated. This is an unedited YouTube vlog discussing everything Arizona Coyotes and coming off his nomination for the best rookie in the NHL for the 2018 season, uh, Clayton Keller. Um, what a what a special season he had. What a special player. I have not seen a player like this don the Coyote jersey in a really long time. Glimpses of it with uh, Domi and Duclair, but uh, consistency was their problem, especially in their first season and in succeeding seasons after that. So let's jump right into it. Clayton Keller leading the team in goals, leading the team in assists and points. He had 23 goals, 42 assists, and 65 points. He holds the franchise records in all rookie stats in goals, assists, and points. 19 years old, just a special kid. In his draft year, Chaika, Chaika saw something in him. Uh, Keller had 37 points in 23 games played in a U.S. I think it was U.S. college, to be honest. And uh, Chaika picks him up at 7th and then picks up Chikrin a couple couple picks later so what a great draft for Chaika getting you know your top line winger scorer leading scorer and one of your best young defensemen just a, a great draft overall Quinn Keller um, like I said nominated for the Calder Trophy alongside Barzell and Besser if Besser didn't get injured I probably think he'd win the, 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 the trophy but of course Barzell will win he had, I think, about 79 or 80 points. I haven't checked. But playing on a line with uh, Tavares and Eberle on the power play, what do you expect? He's going to pocket in some goals. He's got tremendous help on his team, whereas Keller, Keller was the man. He was driving all the offense for the Coyotes. He didn't have a star, special, skilled centerman or winger to piggyback his stats. It was all Keller driving the offense. I think that's why he got the nomination. You know, on a weak team, bottom of the league, it's hard for players to produce when they're losing games. But Keller continued. He kept pushing along, and he made it happen. However, he did have a, a sophomore slump in his uh, rookie season, which is funny. But thankfully, he came out of it. Um, let's look at this. From January 4th to February 25th, he had 12 points. In 21 games which was abysmal after his you know record pace to start the season everyone was calling him Clayton Calder already um, just a month into the season but he hit a slump Tockett decides to take him off the first line play him on the third line it wasn't really working then Tockett decides you know what let's put him back on the top line with Stepan and at the time it was Reeder and Perlini that were switching that uh, left side of the wing and uh, he still couldn't get going and then after the trade deadline Richard Ponick comes into the fold and from then on I mean Keller got back to his record pace from March 1st to April 7th he had 20 points in 21 games 21 points in 20 games sorry so he he was a point per game right after the trade deadline right after Chaika had to make the tough decision of shipping out a reader to get Kemper and then a couple weeks earlier Ponick came into the fold and then Taki decides to put Ponick on the top line after a deadline and Ponick, Stepan and Keller were unbelievable every game just tremendous playmaking they're getting goals almost every game and uh, it was great to see Keller come out of his slump and start producing again if he maintained that rate throughout the whole season, I'm sure he would have tied Barzell or even surpassed him. I mean, Keller was on another level when he was playing with confidence and playing with some good line mates in Panic and Stepan. I really appreciate Stepan's leadership in, in taking care of Keller and teaching him about the game. You see it on the bench, always talking to him. They play on the power play together. So it was great to have that leadership that Doan left 
I mean, it, it was a tough, it was a tough couple months. I tell you, I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, it was a couple tough months, and we didn't have the leadership. Don left, and OEL, Richardson, Stepan, Goligoski, and Jomerson. It took him a while to to get that leadership going, that veteran presence going, and teaching these young kids how hockey should be played every night, going into every game with the same mindset that you're going to win. And finally it came into fruition um, January 1st, and from then on, um, everything looked good. So Crane Keller, congratulations on the nomination. Probably 100% won't win. But it's great that he's getting the recognition he deserves. He's a special player, drives the offense of the Coyotes on a Coyotes team that finished bottom three of the league. So I give it up for that 19-year-old. And uh, some of these goals here that have been playing behind me, just unbelievable. So that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Like always, thank you for your support.